Dr. Paul here, I've got a silly one. Your kid keeps getting skid marks in their underwear. So we're talking about they're not wiping, little streaks of poop in the underwear. Parents who do laundry, you're probably familiar with this. It's normal, but what can we do about it? Is this, is this something we need to worry about? Come on, be honest. Did you ever not totally get things wiped up perfect? Or maybe you wiped, but then, you know, if there's a little stool in the rectal vault, some of it kind of leaks past, even though you've wiped well and you got a little smears or you know dirty underwear. Folks, parents, do not panic about this. This is completely normal. Unless your child has encoparesis, which is very large impacted stool. I'll have another video on that. Take a look at that if that's your situation. But if we're talking your child has normal bowel movements, but they just can't seem to have clean underwear, what can you do about it? Well, first of all, don't panic. It's normal. Secondly, maybe you should show your kids and just be real lighthearted about it how to wipe. Oh, here I'll show you. So this is toilet paper, actually it's Kleenex, but you get your toilet paper, you're done, you wipe, well girls you're gonna wipe front to back, so if you're sitting on the toilet you push it to the back, or if you're reaching around you pull, because you don't want to get poop in the vagina, that can cause increased risk for urinary tract infections. Boys, you're a little luckier, front, back, whatever, reach around, get yourself wiped off, put it in the toilet when you're done, right? How about, let's do it again. So wipe, wipe, in the toilet, maybe a third time. All right, and, and you don't have to be rough, but you've gotta be thorough. You've gotta, you've gotta wipe your anus. Oh, ha, here's the anus. Okay, so we're gonna just wipe, right? One direction, do it again. We're gonna wipe the other direction, do it again, wipe. Now. A trick that I've had to use and taught my children who seem to all have trouble with this issue, because you know what, if you haven't wiped well, now you've got sore bottoms, you've got rashes. They're, they're, one of my kids could barely walk. He couldn't hardly go to work. His bottom was so bad. He needed a barrier cream. I taught them, get the, if you're somewhere where you can do this, get your toilet paper, get enough of it wadded up and get it slightly damp. And then you wipe, right, with a damp cloth. Now it's really clean. Get one more dry one, wipe gently, now you're clean. So some of us, I guess, just have a harder time getting our bottoms clean. And one way you know, right, is you've wiped three, four, five times and that, take a look. Oh, it's totally clean. You're probably done. If you're white and it's just major brown, there's more there. And either you need to just sit down and finish having your bowel movement and then try wiping again, or you're just gonna have to wipe a little better, a little more carefully. Maybe try the wet wipe idea. For those kids who have a rash because of, you know, it's just gotten irritated, uh, you can use a barrier cream. Any kind of diaper cream works great. A little tiny bit of Vaseline. Just wipe off the excess. Nobody likes to walk around with a sticky butt. So smears are okay. Sticky butts are... <laughs> Blooper. Uh, smears are okay. Sticky butts not. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.